a cutting. What could go wrong? <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of things you have to get ready before race week. The next thing on our list after chassis cert was to upgrade the transmission. After a quick YouTube search, Chuck Stewart and I decided the easiest way to take care of these upgrades to the transmission was with the saws off. Well, stick it through there. Get it through there first. There's a little burr here. <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong? I can't because it was going to... I wouldn't worry about staying on that line because yeah. you can always come back Just and make cut it off something. and make, make a section cut. Yeah, because what I'm having to do is You're I'm trying, to, trying to bring it back and it's not going. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to lop it off. Once your car runs below 10 seconds or over 135 miles an hour, all the safety rules change. That's all. Go fast. <laughs> Pretty, pretty thick. So how'd that feel? You gotta turn it the other way. All right. That's uh, I hear that's what all the cool kids are doing. It's weight reduction. <laughs> I'm gonna give me another guide mark up here because I can see really good with the tape on there. All right, here we go. I'm working with my left hand. This, this is probably gonna be screwed up. That one's even thicker. Hey, don't be pissing on my wheels either. <laughs> Here, watch this. Exactly. Someone just said, oh, I'd have never done it that way. Or somebody finishes and go, what What the hell did you do it that way for? <laughs> Chuck Stewart told me to. As they're, as they're standing there drinking beer. Hold my beer. Watch this. Showing me how to do it. <laughs> Fucking ass clowns. On trucking? I think so. I think, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, what can go wrong? Mighty so, fine, mighty fine. And at the TikTok, they say, yeah, I like what you did, Picasso. <laughs> Hey, you're getting talented. So, I can cut some shit up. <laughs> we sell bell housings to convert everything. This transmission to a 2JZ, to a, that's how they got started. So, if you have a C4, uh forward transmission and you want to bolt it to a chevy i don't know why you'd want to do that but they have that conversion mm -hmm. they they do all that stuff that's how they that's how they make money more to bring it back obviously you got to get to these tabs so this side needs to come but if you look at this one here that's not that far off right there that's yeah but given those 1973 third generation xerox copied instructions mm -hmm. i think all you get's a rough cut and then and then you gotta physically fit it <laughs> I'm, I like it.
What do you think? I think so. What? I think we're in the ballpark. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to get rid of, I'd like to get rid of these little nicks here. Matter of fact, I'm just yeah, going to clean it up like that other side. You're probably going to knock this whole corner off. Yeah, yeah, but I just wanted to get it where there's no stress risers. Yeah. You know, there's nothing on there, so just get all those little nicks out. I think we're there, gentlemen. All right. All I right. think that's a pretty good job for today. We'll finish it up. I like it. Picasso. Don't forget the O-rings and to torque the bolts, and the Ultra Bell installation is complete. Twenty foot pounds. Look at the mounting flange difference. This is bell housing and transmission shoe. Overall, pretty happy with how the transmission project turned out. One step closer to race week. These skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me?